What's going on guys and welcome back to the vlog. Today is going to be quite an interesting day. I'm not with anyone today. I'm actually going for a uni interview at Brighton. And I thought, you know what? I'll take you guys with me because I feel like this could be fun. Um, I may as well do something extra for the day. So let's vlog the day and just see how we go. To Basingstoke. the train for Brighton is just right there. Let's go. Basically, well, uh, my interview's at two, and uh, may as well get. Oh god, it's not like... <laughs> It's a, it's a picture. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah, on our way, on our way, on our way, on our way. I don't even know if I'm in automatic or not, because that would really help vlogging wise. But yeah, okay. We're on our way, and. Uh, yeah, I can show you some more countryside if you want to.
And they even got a shoot going on. Like, this is already really cool. It was so tiny, I literally couldn't see it. I'm glad I made it at last. I'm just in the reception at the moment, but... Oh, this is so cool, look at all these cameras. Yeah, I literally don't know how I'm mistaken that big building for the uni. This is the uni, it's really cool. So, I'm gonna go now, but I'll see you after the interview. guys know in a minute how it all went. This is going to be a weird transition. So I came back from Brighton. Cool. What did I like about it? Quite a lot. It was really cool. The courses were really interesting. Well, the course was interesting even not courses but uh, throughout the duration of it it looks really cool on the projects that you get to do uh, I believe I got it right in front of me all right what we got going on so you can in in the first term practical skills and micro short film as well as film theory and industry so you get theory work you get practical work it's really cool um, so you get to make your own short film 
and uh, you just learn about uh, the theory behind film. This could be to do with lighting or maybe uh, what goes into a story, uh, like storytelling, but what's like the narrative structure of a film or whatever. Um, and just the industry in general, just what goes on in producing films and all roles in the industry and all the target audiences and the analytical approach, what sells, what doesn't sell, etc. And uh, yeah, and maybe if it's the British film industry, maybe it's the American. There's just it just goes on and on and on and on and on. But I'm telling you guys about film. If you guys aren't as interested, why did you click the vlog in the first place? You're watching a, a Brighton Film Uni travel vloggy train most of all vlog it was more like a train journey vlog really sorry if it was more train than anything else but uh, i'm gonna find some music to to go in the background to make it okay you got a music video project this is literally just like what i did in my current college it'd be better than last year I, I, this is uni work it is, it's gonna be it's not gonna be like my, my music video would be it'll be like actually working with a band and properly using lots of actual really cool set designs and um, proper stuff, equipment. Oh, it'll be so much fun. And editing and camera skills development, that sounds pretty cool. Camera skills development and editing. That's like, oh yeah, cinematography, yep, on board. Editing, yep, on board. It is bang out of 10. It's like, I always say bang out of 10, it's becoming one of my catchphrases, I don't know why. And then you got the short film project, which is like, the sort of, it's not the final major project, but it's like, because I, I in the interview I was like, it's kind of like a final major project, but it's not final, because it's not your last year, is it? But it's like a major, major, the, the big, big time, and you get to like, make your own film and stuff, it's really cool. And use all your ideas or anything, so that's literally like m my creative mind just goes. <laughs> literally, I'm excited for this. This looks cool. I mean, this this uni looks really good for like what a first year could give you. End of music video and planning for term free film sounds pretty like interesting. So it's like working with the client, giving the music video to the client. What's really cool about this uni, and I just chucked it on the floor and it's meant to go back on my desk, is that this is closer to actual work than actually uni work, if that makes sense. Like, at uni or at college, you're doing all this, like, normal, worky stuff, but this is, this is actually, like, actual work. Like, job work, industry work. It's exciting. What do I have to give for this uni? I think it's just exciting. And I, would, I wouldn't I would mind going to this uni. I would love to. Um, you're probably thinking, okay, what's all these doubts about? I have no doubts. I, I just, I'm in college still. I don't know what's going on. What, what my final decision is. I'm... I would probably make the final decision when the deadline date for decision making would come. I don't know what that would be, when that happens. When that does, I will prepare and yeah. But I've got to make portfolios and stuff and I need to make more outside college work. If there's any ideas you guys want me to try out, or maybe you could link me anything, I don't know. But it. It's all good, and uh, yeah, I'm just waving my hands because I'm feeling all weird today. I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe you guys liked something out of this vlog today, but if you didn't, fair enough. Anyways, I'm going to leave it from there. I really like the uni today. It's very far from home. That's, that's like, sort of where I'm like, eh. But then all unis are going to be far from home, so it's like... Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, 
I just need to know if I get a, if I got a place or not, and uh, I need to sort out some of these references and stuff, and make a portfolio, like I said. Yeah, and I got a deadline tomorrow as well, so I'm just a bit under stress at the moment, but I'm excited at the same time. Stress pushes goals to make them happen. Quote of the day, don't know. Anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully this video has not contained much train journeys for you, which it probably has, so, well, let's just deal with it, you know, just deal with it, and I'll vlog more um, uni days if I find, if I go on more interviews and stuff, we're doing more uni days like this, which may include more trains and more subways, unless I don't go to subway the next time, but I probably will, because I fancy subway. Um, I don't know if I'll fancy one in the future, but today I felt like I fancied one, and the day before that I felt like I fancied one. Where am I going with this? Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and I am uploading a vlog from Portsmouth and a American Sweet tasting vlog. Um, all of these have got to be edited yet. Whatever comes out or rolls out first, we'll see. Um, them two are going to be uploaded to a different channel. It's a channel that's with me and Izzy. Uh, so we're uploading our stuff there, but the stuff that's more me, more personal to me, blah blah blah, me 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 me, is on this channel. I might. I'm. I'm always thinking about changing my name, but I don't know yet. But when I do, I'll come back to you guys with a, with a big announcement video if I change my name. Because this name of this channel is. It needs changing, especially if I'm going to a more professional environment. Mind you, this channel is not really a professional channel, but still. Oh, what's your what's your YouTube channel? Legend X Yoli? That doesn't sound right. We need a new name, guys. If you guys got suggestions as well, that could always help. But thank you for watching, guys. I shall see you in the next video. Adios.